All right, everybody, what is going on? This is episode 551 of the First and Prairie Show. I am Via Baller. Over here, we talk about Georgia Southern Atlanta Falcons football, and today we're going to talk about what the Falcons are going to do at pick number eight. Now, um, I w- hopefully this will work. I got this, you know, cone that's going around the microphone. So with that being said, we're going to have a much better uh, audio because I know I had some, you know, I just had some echoes. And I just, you know, and the echo and the reverb was kind of weird. So um, hopefully this is working and hopefully you guys give me some good feedback. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I can be found on YouTube and Rumble. Also on Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple and Google Podcasts. And uh, I want to give you guys a heads up on what I said that the new thing that was going to be that I'm working on. Now, I am working on a website. The website is done. The website is basically finished, and what I want to do is uh, get it up and running. The problem is I changed the, don- the domain name, and the domain name is taking its time to basically start up. Uh, I guess it, it has to be approved by the guys who work, my, um, work in the website. So that's what's going on. At that website, I'm going to be doing a lot more things when it comes to the show, uh, what we're going to be doing with uh, blogs. I'm be doing some writing over there. Have a subscription list, so I can have a, a, a email um, list for you guys and let you guys know what I'm doing and what I think about certain things that's going on on the show. So um, hopefully you guys will check that out. Probably do some exclusive content over there as well. I know I had the Discord. Discord is really kind of not my bag at the end of the day. It's something that I, I like, but I don't want to really do. So um, hopefully this will be something better because the website is my website or something that I, that the domain that I own and, you know, something that I can take care of myself without having certain rules and regulations. I mean, obviously they're going to be some, it's not going to be like all kind of craziness going on over there, but hopefully that, uh, that will be a lot better all, uh, option than, you know, doing Discord or whatever. Cause I, I, I got it set up just waiting for the domain to come through. Hopefully you guys will check that out. All right, um, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, what will the Falcons do with number eight? Now, I believe that the Falcons are all over the place when it comes to the draft. Only reason why I say that is because the Falcons just signed Joe Gaziano, Gazzano, I think I said that right, from the Chargers, another defensive end. So what does that do with the rest of the, you know, the defensive players in the first round? Do we pick some later? Um, who do we pick at number eight? Now, like I said, I am a big fan of Jalen Carter, um, Nolan Smith, definitely a big fan of Nolan Smith, but um, also the guy from Clemson as well. But I don't know if they're going to pick a guy that high, even though we need a defense. But the fact that the Falcons have signed so many people at, in the front seven, I don't know how it's going to go. Now, I'm going to give you three guys that I think that they're going to pick up. And uh, we're going to narrow it down as the, as we get closer to the draft, but um, the three guys I'm going to name first, I I really believe um, if they go defense, I think Jalen Carter's off the board. Believe it or not, I believe Jalen Carter's off the board. I don't think that they're going to pick him up after the pro day uh, debacle and all the other uh, issues that he has. Now, that doesn't mean Jalen Carter's not going to be a beast. I just think the Falcons are probably going to shine away from that. If you know what the front office is about, I don't think they're too much trying to pick up players with too much baggage uh not recent baggage anyway i could be wrong but i don't think so the guy i think they'll probably pick up is nolan smith the defensive guy um our defensive coordinator likes a guy like him and i think with him paired with troy anderson will work out very well they're almost like 1a 1b um nolan smith is a little bit more athletic and uh i think they will feed off each other very well uh how does this work i think no i think troy anderson is more of a linebacker Nolan Smith is more of a linebacker slash edge. He could do a little bit more. He can help out Ebikete, and he can help out in coverage of linebacker. I think the guy is going to be an absolute stud as well, and I think it fits what the Falcons are trying to do on defense. So I think that's going to be the move. Now, if they don't go there, I think the second pick is probably the safest pick. It's probably Christian Gonzalez. I think Christian Gonzalez is the safest pick. Now, do we need a CB2? Yes, we do. Mike Hughes is has been signed, but I think he's going to take the role of what Isaiah Oliver used to do. Chris Gonzalez has the, has the length, 
He has the speed. He has the footwork. Him and AJ Terrell together would be really, really nice. You already got Jesse Bates, Richie Grant. You're going to have a pretty nice secondary as well. So um, I, I, I see that that's almost like a no-brainer if you're looking for the safest pick. What does that make of Casey Hayward? Casey Hayward will probably still get playing time here and there. But after that injury, they probably took a, dropped them back a little bit. Um, it's going to be interesting if they still have faith in Casey Hayward. If they do, then they won't be drafting Gonzalez. But uh, I think that's the safest pick. I mean, I, I like my my biased pick is Nola Smith, but the safest pick is Christian Gonzalez. Now, the third person I think they'll pick, and I know some people may think this is kind of out there, but other people have put it out there. I think B. John Robinson might be the guy as well at, you know, number eight. Now, you got Tyler Algier at running back. Well, in this league now, you run more than run a running back. And B. John Robinson has all the tools that Arthur Smith likes. He also like, you know, uh, oh, goodness, I lost, his, lost my train of thought already. Our running back, uh, Tyler Algier. Yes, so Tyler Algier is, could be the thumper, the type of running back that can run through people and run around people. B. John Robinson would be the same. Now, if you really want to get technical, I think they should go scat back and get somebody who can catch out the backfield that's a little bit more shiftier. But, I mean, you look at Caleb Huntley. Caleb Huntley also with um, Cordell Patterson. Both of those guys are downhill runners, just like Tyler Algier was. I guess Coach Arthur Smith feel like you can't have too many of them. B. John Robinson may be that guy that would uh, suffice for this offense now. So that means those are three guys that I think that they will pick. Um, I, 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 you can't go wrong with the way that the Falcons have uh, acquired a lot of players throughout the, the free agents market. Also, you can't go wrong with the type of players they picked up. It's not like the fact that they picked up guys based on positional need. They picked up some guys who are actually pretty good. You know, we got some really good players. And I know there's some, you know, outlets out there that are, basically saying that we don't know what we're doing. I mean, when do they ever give us praise, right? I mean, like, who cares? Nevertheless, I think the Falcons are in a really good spot right now where they can pick whoever they want. You know, they can pick best player available, literally the best player available, and don't go wrong because the front office has done a phenomenal job of making sure they got the players that they needed for this uh, for this team. Now, what does happen when you get a Nola Smith? You're going to have an explosive pass rush, Some uh, also some coverage in the mid-range secondary with that linebacker, him and Troy Anderson. They're going to be doing pretty good. Also, what do you do when, if you was to get Christian Gonzalez? Basically, it's going to be almost no fly zone. Christian Gonzalez, one side, AJ Terrell on the other. You got Jesse Bates and Richie Grant. It's going to be really ugly for any team that will try to throw the ball. Um, not saying that they can't get the ball downfield. I mean, there's a passing league that's going to happen. But we're going to have a lot more opportunities with these guys who are not afraid to jump in front of the ball and try to get something. Not afraid to tackle either. So that's going to be a really good look if we do get him. And if we get B. John Robinson, it's going to be status quo on offense. We're going to be, you know, running the ball first, pass second. If you can't stop the run, it's going to be a long day. So that's basically what we're looking at. Um, I don't, I don't know, man. It, it, it is a really good feeling that the Falcons are are in this position to do whatever they did, they want to do and not trying to do a lot of things they need to do. Does this uh, line up for success? I mean, I talked about this in another episode. I think it does because the team is already in a lot of, in well put position to do a lot of things. And that's all that you would really want out of your team, right? I mean, I wouldn't, I, I don't, I don't see why not. You know, uh, outside of the quarterback situation, even though I do want to see Desmond Ritter, you know, develop, there's still a question mark there. And there's a quarterback, and we don't like the name too much. <laughs> He's requesting a trade now, you know, the, the quarterback for the Ravens, number eight. I mean, I don't think he's coming to the team still. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy how that whole situation playing out. I just wish he would have got himself an agent and a lot of the stuff would have been alleviated, you know? Kind of crazy. But nevertheless, if you like this commentary, hit the like button, share this podcast, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think, man. YouTube, Rumble, Anchor, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. That's where I'm at. Give me a five-star rating on that Apple Podcast. Also, on the other podcast avenues, 
give me the highest rating possible. YouTube and Rumble, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Um, I think Anchor and Spotify is one and the same now. I'm going to have to check that. But if you're on Anchor, that means you're on Spotify. If you're on Spotify, that means you're on Anchor. Nevertheless, I'm just happy that you're here listening and or watching the show. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. See you guys on Monday. Hopefully we get some. Sorry. See you guys on Tuesday. Hopefully we get some Georgia Southern news because not much going on. I know the practice has started, but I want to hear how things are going over there. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be blessed. Peace.